Hi, I'm Tuukka and welcome to the Kid Booth at Embedded World 2016. Cute development is all about cross-platform and making the life of a developer easier. So with Qt 5.6 we're introducing Windows host development for embedded Linux. So you can actually take your Windows computer, run your Qt creator there, with one click you can cross-compile and deploy to your embedded Linux target. My name is Giuseppe D'Angelo. I am a senior software engineer at KDAV, a Qt service provider. We are here today to showcase Q3D. What we're seeing over here is a nice 3D model of a Dodge Viper SRT. It's built and rendered using state-of-the-art OpenGL techniques, such as BBR shaders, image-based lighting, etc. As you can see, on top of that 3D content, we have a very nice, easy-to-use controls made using Qt Quick and a custom Qt Quick style. Qt is widely used within the automotive industry and the traditional place for Qt in the car has been in the infotainment system. But now we have done research around putting Qt more towards the digital instrument clusters on the dashboard. So here we are showcasing a digital instrument cluster completely built using Qt with all kinds of cool graphical approaches you can take for instance, direct integration of maps using Qt Location API, uh, integrating the 3D graphics using Qt 3D, and finally uh, using the CAN bus API uh, to receive events uh, coming all over the car. With Qt 5.6 we're also introducing a tech preview of the new Qt Quick Controls 2. We've had Qt Quick Controls before for desktop, but this time we've redesigned them to really nicely fit embedded use cases. So they're lightweight and they provide a nice styling mechanism and a whole template mechanism for you to create your set of controls for your devices. 